Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would talk about all of, well not all, but a lot of the items that I think are still worth it from Louis Vuitton. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. Okay, so just to start off this video, I don't know, I feel like recently a lot of people, I don't want to say they're bashing Louis Vuitton, but they're kind of over Louis Vuitton. A few, not not everyone, but a few of like luxury influencers that I follow, I feel like they give away all of their Louis Vuitton pieces and they just want Hermes and Chanel. And then Fendi's really hot right now. So Fendi, Hermes, and Chanel, and that's it. And I feel like a lot of people, it's not even just Louis Vuitton monogram, it's just Louis Vuitton in general. I feel like people put it on the back burner or the second reason is obviously because of the price increases a lot of people think that louis vuitton is no longer worth it don't get me wrong louis vuitton like their price increases really do hurt especially for what is it the mini pochette is like 700 dollars now ridiculous because when i got it it was like 300 dollars. but anyways i feel like just a lot of people have been hating on louis vuitton or just like louis vuitton isn't as popular anymore and i would just like to say it right now that i still love louis vuitton okay even though like for example the neverfull is ridiculously expensive compared to how it used to be i still really like that bag i still really like louis vuitton so here is just kind of a list of things that i actually still would love to add to my collection i wouldn't necessarily say they're on my wish list just because my wish list ranking is pretty full with Lueve <laughs> but if I did have like extra money or if someone were buying me gifts these would be the Louis Vuitton pieces that I would love love to add and then also Dior is here with me too so I'm gonna kind of go from smaller items to bigger items so the first one you guys know that I've talked about before but I'm just gonna bring it up really quickly again is the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer I feel like the price range for this is really good honestly so it starts out at 415 dollars which is doable especially for like a designer wallet it's way more than a card holder and some card holders are like 375 dollars so for basically like a mini bifold essentially is what a pocket organizer is it's just like 30 40 dollars more than a card holder i really like the pocket organizers one because there's a lot of different slots and on top of that too they have a lot of seasonal designs they have leather ones if you want canvas they just have so many variations if you really like the style but you kind of want to wait for another season just honestly every like two to three months they're gonna come out with a new one so yes you guys know i do have the cloud one as well it is in my purse but my purse is downstairs right now so we're not gonna go get it they just had this new seasonal one that i actually did purchase as a gift as well it's not a secret <laughs> but it has like this really really sick like graffiti print on the outside and my favorite thing about it is the color schemes that they chose is that it has like this like bright bright teal and then it goes with my second item that i do recommend it's called the braza wallet this one obviously since it is longer and bigger this one is available in the graffiti this is 805 dollars i'm assuming starting price i'm sure they have this in leather but the one that i really like is canvas i believe jerusha really likes this wallet i think i remember in one of her vlogs that i watched i think she said she has the monogram version of this correct me if i'm wrong and she really recommends it and then after she because i saw that vlog i started really liking it and i actually do want to add a braza wallet in the future just because i know a lot of people it's all about card holders tiny bag energy or whatever but i don't know i want them to bring i mean long wallets have never gone anywhere but i feel like everyone is about card holders and again like i love card holders don't get me wrong but there's something really i don't know comforting and classic about a long wallet like chanel long wallets are really nice as well but but it's just long wallets used to be the thing. When I was in middle school or even kindergarten, you would always see like older women have the long wallets and then the kids have like the short compact wallets. I totally recommend the Braza wallet if you're looking for another wallet or if you want to get it for a gift. And I feel like it'll be like a forever wallet as well. The next one is kind of a ready to wear piece you guys know, my love for beanies. So Louis Vuitton does have a couple beanies. They have this enamel one, but my favorite is called the LV Headline Beanie beanie so it starts at 480 dollars and i don't know i think this is so cute i believe this one influencer i follow hopefully i can find a picture of it she was wearing this beanie and i saw it in store and it's just so cute i just have like a weak spot for embroidered things so like when it's printed versus when it's embroidered into any type of like fabric or clothing item i just love love embroidered so much i just think it looks so so cute they do have this in a couple different colors and it's winter so honestly if i wasn't getting the celine beanie i think i would have gotten this beanie instead 
Okay, so now we're gonna be going on to bags. So there's five bags that I really really like from Louis Vuitton So we're just gonna go through it Let me know if any of you guys own any of these items um, and then tell me how much you love them Or if you would like me to save money Tell me the things that you don't like about them that you want to sell your bag and now I can save maybe like a couple thousand dollars <laughs> Okay, so the first bag technically two of them i actually genuinely didn't know that there was a difference until i actually looked it up and i was like oh so i initially thought it was the keep all excess but then there's the keep all 25 so the second one is really similar same category would be the keep all bandoulier 25 i think this one's really really cool it is a little bit bigger i'm assuming uh this one has i believe it has the pvc and then it has the monogram canvas with throughout it i actually think this is really really sick i mean three thousand dollars for pvc is a little bit expensive but it does look really really cute like even the fact that it has the monogram canvas on the handles i think is super super cute and then for the keep all 25 i want to try on both of these next time i go to the mall i'm going to film myself trying on both of these maybe i feel like the essay actually won't let me film we'll see we'll see i really really like this i think everyone knows and loves this too is that cassie thorpe has i believe it's the keep all 25 in that kind of like embossed neon ombre gradient neon green and blue i think that's really sick but if they have that exact size in just plain monogram or even plain damier bean or just a color or seasonal one i feel like that would be really really cool if i were to get the keep all 25 i don't think or the keep all ss xs i don't think i would need to add the speedy 25 b in my collection because i still kind of want to add that to my collection but yes so the next thing that I really really like is the Louis Vuitton Petite Sac Plat. So there's different price ranges for this one. It all just depends on what leather you want. If you want it with the epi leather, which is honestly my personal favorite, the monogram one would be my second favorite. It's just so cute. <laughs> Even though I have the Celine mini vertical kibosh show, I don't know, it just kind of doesn't hit the same as the Louis Vuitton Petite Sac Plat. I thought if I had that, the Celine one, I wouldn't need the Louis Vuitton one, but I still kind of want the Louis Vuitton one just because it's so tiny and adorable and people say you can just fit like the bare necessities probably like phone card holder and lip balm not that I need another bag to do that but I don't know I just I think it's really really cute I really really like the petite sack plaque I know like Angelina Jolie like everyone likes the really big sack plaque right now but I really like the petite one it's very very adorable the second to last bag that I'm going to be talking about is uh, okay, so Dale from Dale's Addiction has it and then Jerusha also has it and the first time I actually saw this bag It wasn't in person or anything and it wasn't even in an email. I was watching this Vogue video Which I'm gonna play right over here, but it is the Louis Vuitton side trunk. It starts at $3,800 I am so utterly obsessed with this bag. The video I thought I think it was emma chamberlain or it was some louis vuitton brand ambassador i'm going to find the video and i think she actually has it in the reverse monogram not the regular monogram that they sell so i'm assuming the reverse mono is like special so maybe only for like their brand ambassadors or uh, maybe it was like only a runway piece i'm not sure wait somebody told me too that the side trunk is actually only available for runway and then like so it's like even more exclusive than seasonal or something like that however if the demand is high enough then they'll make it into their permanent collection that's what i heard <laughs> i love this bag i do think it's a little bit expensive yes however if you take into account for example the petite mal is very expensive and it's very small but it's because it's like the more structured a bag is weirdly enough the more expensive it is so i feel like the amount of work to make this side trunk kind of structured yet slouchy in the middle is what and like the hardware and the corners is what makes it so expensive do i think this bag is worth the price it's hard to say i believe i think it is a bit expensive i feel like a a better price would be maybe like 3100 dollars because it's still like not that big of a bag but then again, it is like trunk. I feel like anything trunk-esque is expensive because it's so classic Louis Vuitton. They started with their trunks, da-da-da-da-da. So 
Yes, I really 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 like this if I were to get it I actually would want it in the reverse mono not in the regular monogram just because oh, I just looks so good in the reverse mono I don't know. Okay, so the last bag that I do eventually want to add but this is gonna take like easily like five years for me to add to this into my collection So it is obviously the Louis Vuitton Capucines collection I would love to get the mini size. So not the BB. I watched a few reviews a lot of people say the BB size isn't for them Everyone says that the flap on the Capucines is really hard to use but you know there's a lot of bags that are very hard to use but you buy for the aesthetic and these are one of those times it's kind of like the Dior um what is it the Lady Dior bag a lot of people say the flap is really annoying but it's like mm, yes the flap is annoying so that is a con but how beautiful the bag is it it's okay it's like not that big of a deal it's kind of the same thing for the Capucines I'm utterly obsessed I tried on this like green one with pink interior don't think i could get that anymore um just the classic black and gold is really cute they have like the wicker version with the leather yeah they just are constantly putting out new colorways with this bag and i just love it to death but obviously it's so expensive it is the most expensive line from louis vuitton i feel it's like they're really really nice bags because i feel like it gives very what's not like kelly vibes but kind of kelly vibes you know what i'm saying i think handbagaholic really loves the capucine bags as well i mean they're beautiful honestly i mean when i first saw the capucines bag i actually i wasn't a fan i was like oh, what is this and then when you try it on in person and then you're like oh that's when it gets you i was like this bag is beautiful and really expensive so it like gets you twice but yes alrighty guys so we have come to the end of today's video this is my current favorites you would say from Louis Vuitton I wouldn't even say this is really a recommendation list if you guys are interested in buying a Louis Vuitton piece but you kind of don't want to get the generic pieces like everyone loves the speedy the neverfold and so on the multi-pochette da -da 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 -da, and you want something a little bit different I feel like this list doesn't really have very popular items on it um I mean they're popular to me but i don't know about everybody else you know let me know on this list what is your favorite it's probably the side trunk it is probably the side trunk because i believe that is my favorite as well yeah but the bras wallet too i don't know why i really want a long wallet like a long slim wallet would be super super nice but yeah as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys just need your company